Hey everybody, welcome to Country Girl. Today I have a very exciting video for you. Um, I knew that the Dollar Trees were starting to put out their Valentine's Day stuff and they were actually starting to do it before Christmas because when I went into my stores on Christmas Eve, they were already putting the stuff out. I didn't look at anything then because, you know, I didn't want to get through Christmas, but I knew that after Christmas they were going to be fully loaded. So I did go to the Dollar Tree and I went to a Dollar Tree that I haven't been to in a while. The Dollar Trees around my area are kind of weird in that sometimes they will be really, really good and real well stocked in one particular store and it'll be my favorite. And then after about a month or two, they just start slacking off and not really keeping things up. And then I'll find another store that um, normally wasn't my favorite and then they'll kind of be picking up their game. So that's why it's really important to travel to different um, stores if you have more than one in your area definitely frequent those because um you know at any given time one could have something the other one does not but i did pick up quite a bit of valentine's day stuff i do love valentine's day um and so you know once christmas is done and over with for me then i am ready to move on so i wanted to go ahead and pick up this stuff because like with anything else um it does not last once it's out and valentine's day is only a month and a half away so I'm going to go ahead and get started and I am going to go over my Valentine's Day stuff with you first. I did pick up a few other items, but I do also want to let you know that I took a ton of pictures um, and posted those on my Instagram channel. And um, really, I took so many pictures, I probably should have done a video shop with me. It's just a lot easier for me to snap pictures, but just to give you an idea of a lot of the things that they have, and they will probably in the next couple of weeks be putting out a whole lot more stuff because there was some things that I've seen other people have that um, was not in my Dollar Tree. So anyway, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get started. And I'm just going to start right off the bat with the best thing um, or the best find that you know, they had. And that is the little red truck. They are putting it out now for um, Valentine's Day. And I just think this is absolutely adorable. I like this a lot better than I did the one for Christmas. Um, but it is glitter, so you will have to spray this for fallout and stuff like that. But, um, I mean, just really, really cute. They got the little hearts in the back and the little hearts on the tires. And you can see all the glitter on that, so it's just like crazy fallout. But um, you could do so many different, you could keep it like this or you could do, you know, add your own little stuff to it. I think I might add some little 3D hearts back here and kind of like go cover these up with um, some other ones just so it looks more like it's standing out. Same thing with the tires um, on here. But I haven't really decided what I want to do with it yet, but I did go ahead and pick up two of those because just in case I want to do two different projects or I need to have two for one. Not really sure, but anyway, that's what I did. I did get two of those. They do have the little, um, it almost looks like large wood name tags, and I did not find those at my Dollar Tree, so um, we'll be on the lookout for those for sure. Okay, now the next items that I picked up that I really liked a lot was their window clings, and they had a bunch of cute ones. I only picked up two. Um, again, I did put the other pictures out on Instagram, but I did pick up this one. Again, the little red truck. And I always love the hot air balloons that they do for Valentine's Day. I just think it's so cute. They also have the bike. And then again, the little red truck. But this is from the front. It's got little hearts on the um, headlights. The word love on the front plate. And just absolutely adorable. I, I like this a whole lot. I only wish that, you know, with the window clings, um, they're so cute and everything, but I wish that they would make these in stickers or, you know, something that you could use other than on like your windows and stuff like that. So if you have any idea of how you can use these or an alternate way that you can use these, please let me know um, because I would love to be able to, you know, be more versatile on those. And then this one here, this is a little bit more on the kitty side, but you know, I still thought it was really cute. And some of these do have a little bit of glitter on it, but the glitter on these um, do not have fallout, just to let you know. And they're all, a lot of this is glitter. All the truck is glitter on this and um, anything red is glitter. So just to let you know, but I just thought this was really cute. I like the little hedgehog, little crocodile. Just adorable. So I picked up those. And then um, I did um, look at a lot of their cards and stuff, and I did buy a few. 
but I'm not going to um, show those just because um, a lot of them are from my family and I just don't want to take a chance of them seeing it before I'm able to give it to them. Um, but I did take a picture of lots of the cards that they had that caught my eye so that you can see those. But I will show these. This is something that I picked up and I did this last year for my coworkers. I just picked up a pack of eight blank cards. Um, the one that I got last year, I think had like a little puppy dog and he had an envelope in his mouth with a heart on it. Um, I think it was another one that had a bear holding some flowers and you know I just write my own message on the inside and then I just give everybody one of these and for something like this I'm probably just going to put something like I hope your Valentine's Day is sweet um, you know something like that and then maybe put some little stickers or something to um, decorate the inside of it but you know for a dollar you get eight cards and it's just something simple to do so I did pick up those and then I also got some of these little um, heart containers. I have not seen these before. You do get four in a pack and I probably should have gotten a couple more because at the time I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them, but I do think now that I may end up um, putting some candies in here and then putting um, one on everybody's desk at work along with one of those little cards. But it does come, I don't know if you can really see it, and actually I'm going to open it up so you can see it better. Anyway, each one of these little hearts comes with like a little hole up here so that you could tie a string through them and then it's open up kind of like an egg does so and you, you know they're pretty good size so you can get quite a few candies in here not sure what kind of candies i'm going to put in here um maybe be hershey kisses or something like that but anyway so you got this and one of the hearts they have got the little tags um, in here for you and so oh my gosh i even like the little string these are the little strings you get so it's red and white and then the little tags you get just say happy valentine's day so you get four little tags and then you know four of the little strings for you to use to tie onto your little heart so that is really cute and like i said i probably will be going back and getting a couple more packs just so that i can give everybody one of these with their card they also had a lot of pretty ribbon and because i wasn't sure what i had from last year i didn't want to stock up and buy a lot but i did pick up two of these just because i know that this is probably one of my favorite um, valentine's day ribbons and um you know if i run out i always got more so if i had some at home it wasn't no big deal but i am going to check my stock and see what i have and then i may end up going back and buying some more this has like a little edging on it and i wasn't sure if that was wired or not i doubt that it is i really wish that they would do wired edging on the smaller ribbons just because it's so much easier to work with and i was going to take this off so that i could see uh, okay so i finally got this open this is nine feet it is not uh wired edge i didn't think it was it usually tells you when it is um but you can see the edging on there as to why i may have thought that but anyway so i did get two of those and then I, they have a lot of containers out and so they have containers like these out at christmas time and i absolutely love these little containers they do have like the little uh, rubber seal around them so whatever you put in it will stay fresh you know for a little while anyway and i just like how they um you know got the little handle and so you could just put so many different little things in here you could put treats in here you could put nail polishes i mean you could just make a cute little you could do one little gift and put everything in one of these and you know that would be perfect with a card so I did get, you know, I got two girls. I got one for Madeline, one for Caitlin. And then the other one that I picked up was this one. It has the red lid, but it has the XOs on it with the pink hearts. And then they also had another one that was red that just said um, love or I love you or something written all over it multiple times. But I did get two of those. Oh, and just so you know, if you like to bake cookies and stuff, um, you could stack your cookies perfect because of the way, you know, the width of this. Um, one year for Christmas, I made some cookies and they stacked up perfect all the way to the top. So, you know, an idea if you want to do something like that. And then they have these little sticker books and I'm going to open these up just so that you can see them. And I did haul some of these last year. I don't know if the same stickers are in them or not, um, but you get six books. They're supposed to be little scented stickers. Um, but i just remember last year when i bought them i was really surprised when i opened them up how cute they were um, they're very petite so they're very good for planners if you like to do stuff like that i know that there's also people out there that like to um, do some um, pocket letters i think is what it's called i've not ever done those before but this would be something cute that you could stick in there um, 
but anyway so I'm going to go th open this up and see exactly oh my gosh this is so cute so this is the kind of stickers that you get now it does have like the white trim around them but I mean they are just so cute And so, you know, like I said, perfect size for planners and calendars and things like that. As far as being scented, I don't really smell anything. Um, let me see if these are all the same. I think that they are. Yeah, so all of them have the same stickers in them. And, you know, that's okay. You get six in here. The covers are just different, but you can gift those to other people or keep a couple sets for yourself so that you can have um, multiple ones on hand. But I do think um, that the stickers are different from last year at least. So, you know, at least you've got that. But you get 75 stickers in each little book. So these are really great. And even if you don't keep them for yourself, if you've got little children, um, these definitely will be cute to stick in a bag or something like that for them. I have so many cute ideas. You know, I was going through the Dollar Tree. Um, I was taking all these pictures, all these different things. And everything that I took a picture of, I had in mind for, was like a Valentine's Day gift basket or something like that. Um, kind of is almost like stockings. Um, but instead of giving somebody a stocking for Christmas, you're just giving them a little basket for Valentine's Day. So anyway, lots of great ideas on Instagram if you want to go out there. <laughs> They also have their Valentine's Day scarves out, and the scarves this year are a little bit different in that they have tassels now. So I thought that was really cute for them to do. I did pick up this one here. Um, this one is the pink one. Of course, they've got a red one that has hearts on it, and I think the other one has the words love written on it. You know, they're pretty thin, but um, usually when I get these, I get them and I tie them around a pillow. I've talked about that before and you know just kind of like decorate my pillow up and I have the same pillow that I just put a new scarf on it for the different seasons so you do get the tassels on each end and all of the scarves do have those on it so I did pick up those and this also be pretty um, you know to wear also if you want to do that and then the last things that I got and I don't know if this is supposed to be Valentine's Day oriented or not but it's what I think of um, when I see this and this is the new um, fairy garden suite houses and things like that so you may have seen a lot of pictures of those going around but I could not resist I did go ahead and I bought everything that they had because I am going to set something up um, either on my buffet or coffee table or something displaying these cute little houses um, let me see if I can cut this light off overhead maybe you can see it a little bit better yeah so this is the little hat one of the little houses and they're just so cute i mean it's got snow on it and candies and stuff like that but it just makes me think of like valentine's day this is another little house that they had this one's got a little cherry on top this does have glitter on it the fallout's not too bad but you still might would want to spray them um it's up to you i'm probably not so i got that one and then I got the little camper. And of course, you know, as you can see, you know, the painting and detailing on this isn't the best. But you can touch that up yourself if you want to, um, you know, or just leave it like it is. I mean, it's like no big deal. You're going to be seeing these from a distance probably anyway. But it's got a little ice cream on top. And then something that they have been doing or they did this year is they brought put out these little trays. They also have some new fairy garden, like your standard fairy garden stuff. And they've got the little square trays. It's got the green grass in them so that you can kind of have something to set your little pieces up in. So this is ceramic and it's just, you know, not really sure why there's a little dip here unless this is supposed to be your entrance, but the little walkways don't match this. And I'll show you that in just a minute. So anyway, I picked up three of these because I've got three houses and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on different levels. So also what I did was I picked up three of these candlesticks. These candlesticks come in handy for so many different things. You can never have too many of these on hand. Um, not really sure how I'm going to do it yet. I'm probably going to put two together like this, spray paint it white, stick one of these on here and then just do a single one spray painted white with another one so that I have different levels. 
Um, so I'll have to play around with that to see how I'm going to do it. But I did get three of the candlesticks to do that with, and I did get three of these. And then I'll show you the different little pieces. Now, after I got home, I realized after buying all this stuff, I didn't get any little fairies or little gnome people or anything to go with it. But that's okay because I do have um, some from um, when I had bought the fairy garden stuff. Um, I think it was last year or the year before. And I'm sure that they'll be putting out some more. So, you know, I can always get those. But, oh, I got one more house. I didn't see that. I've got four houses. Sorry about that. So I've got that one. And then this is a little bridge. And at first I thought, you know, too, something that you could do is you could connect these pieces by putting the bridge here. And then you could have one little round disc on the other side. You know, to connect those if you wanted to do that also. But I did get the little bridge. This is a little gazebo. These are the little walkways that I was talking about. So I did get two of those, even though I've got three. You could, I guess, lay them um, on the outside here. Or you could put them on the inside leading up to your house, however you want to do that. But, you know, if you were going to put it in there, it don't really fit. So I guess it's meant maybe to lead this way. I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to have to play around with it, but I did get two of those. They also have like these little ice cream cone chairs and table. So I got that. And then these little pieces here, they're just little accent pieces that you can use and I really like the little I guess they're like little lollipops so that I, like I said I think I got everything that they have for this collection I'm not sure other than the actual little fairies and gnomes but I did get those and I'm excited to get them set up and then as far as the buckets go um, they have bags that you can use um, you know the little oval buckets but I had not seen these, and I really liked them. So I did get two of these. I really like how they've got the little cutout hearts around them. And these would be really cute because you can always take these and just, you know, thread some ribbon through it or tie little, you know, the little gingham bows to it. But they're pretty deep. And so you could can get a lot in here. So I did pick up two of those, one for each one of my girls, because, you know, they do get a Valentine's Day basket every year. So I got those, and I think that was all for the Valentine's Day stuff. And that was, like I said, so much stuff that I really wanted to get and refrained. So I'm sure over the next couple of weeks, I may be buying some more. So now I'm going to go over the other miscellaneous type items. They did have some more planner stickers out. They had three different sets. I only bought two of them because the third one I really didn't care for very much. But this is one of them. I think these are new. I'm pretty sure that I don't already have these. Um, but just to show you what these look like, I've got the real pretty gold foil. The black and gold. And then it does show you on the back what you get in each one. I just wanted to show you more up close so that you could see it better. But that was that one. And then this one was the other one that I picked up. This is more of a tropical type theme, I think. You can see those on the back. I will try and flip through these pretty quick. My fingers just aren't wanting to work today. really like the pineapple ones. So I did get two of those. It says 265 pieces, so you do get 265 stickers in each one of those. And then I was going through their book section. Their book section was actually fairly neat considering most of the time the books are just all over the place. 
and it really wasn't in the books that I was looking as much as it was like the little coloring books, activity books, children's books, things like that. They did have some new uh, books out and um, books are always, or activity books are always really cute addition to put in any kind of gift bag or anything like that. But I did get two little um, children's Bible story books. They have four in the collection, but I could only find two. But I just thought this book was absolutely adorable. Oh my gosh, I loved reading to my girls when they were little and I missed that so much. Um, I wish that I had children that I could read to now, but I don't. So, you know, one day hopefully I'll be a grandma and I'll be able to relive all that again. <laughs> but anyway, this is the story of Jonah. And just so that you can see the pictures on here and the illustrations are really cute. Um, something else that I always look for in a book, when you're reading to little children, if, there's, if it's too wordy, they're going to get bored. Um, and they had quite a few books that had really cute pictures and stuff, but it just had like so many words. So this book I thought was really perfect that it kept it short and simple. You know, and of course the, the images and the pictures um, really tell the story too. <laughs> so cute. And then the very last page is like a pop-up. Tell me that is not adorable. Oh my gosh, I love it. So that one is Jonah. And then this one is Noah's Ark. And just so y'all know too, that books make very good baby shower gifts. If you don't have any little ones of your own. To read those two. And then the pop-up when they get to get off the ark. So, yeah, I thought those were really cute. I wish I could have found the other two. The other two, it looks like, was a book of prayers, and then it says God created everything. I don't know if you can see on the back of that um, what that looks like. So, anyway, I got those. And then um, something else that they have there that I was really surprised to see. You know, they're um, they revamping their craft section. They have chalk. It's called chalk chalk writer but it's like a chalk marker and it is um, erasable you just wet it wipe it off and then you can um, write on it again this is the standard white but i also got the blue the pink purple and green and they had silver and gold but i didn't get that because i just didn't think that it would show up very good um, on the chalkboards and I just thought it was neat to have them in all these different colors because you can do a little bit more with your um, you know your little chalkboards and things like that also if you have chalk paint you could turn pretty much anything into a little chalkboard so um, I thought this was a really good find to get them and I did get like I said these colors here all right and then um, Golly, I've got a lot of stuff here. I'm trying not to I always miss something. It's like after I'm done, I always end up finding one thing I did not get to cover. I got this adult coloring book. It's called Beach Scenes. For some reason, I think I may have bought this before. I have bought so many coloring books. I've tried to steer clear of buying any more because I have so many now that I have not got to color in. But I really love this little van um, on the front, which is the very first picture that you see in here. And so that's why I went ahead and bought it. Um, the other pictures are cute too, um, but I mainly bought it for the van. And like I said, I think I may have already got this. I'm not sure. So, but it was just a dollar. So if I did already have it, then, you know, I could always re-gift this to somebody else. But I did pick up one of those. I like it too because this is fairly simple. It's not too complicated. It doesn't have a whole lot of, you know, detail in it. And then I got another wall sticker. I love buying their wall stickers because I like to save them to use for scrapbooking and crafts and things like that. But this says, uh, love alpaca. And I just really liked how this looked. I love the little mountains and the designs on that. I thought those were really cute. Get another side here with the little cactuses. These mountains are a little bit bigger. And you also get the clouds. And you can't really tell, but it's outlined in like a really pretty um, silver that kind of shimmers. 
So I did get that. And Caitlin wanted me to pick her up some eyelashes. She just wants to play around with some of them. So I did get the LA Colors Dramata Lash. They didn't have a big selection, but anyway, I got those. That way she can play around with those. I already had some glue at home from before. Um, and then I saw this at checkout. And I usually don't like this, like the little emoji poopy. I just think it's nasty. <laughs> I know a lot of kids like playing with it. But I guess being that this was purple, um, you know, and I really like the little face on it. I thought it was cute. Um, it's just like one of those little squeezy things. I did go ahead and pick that up for a dollar. Caitlin likes to play with these. And, you know, they are good stress relievers. So this would be something cute you could throw into a bag or basket also. And then the very last thing that I'm going to go over with you. Um, I have been looking. They sell. I bought some of these scrub buddies um it's 20 um, wet cloths that you can get in a pack and they have been selling these for quite a long time at my dollar tree but i never really bought any because i did not have one of the mops that had the um things that you could push these down in i have the swiffer wet jet and i haven't been using it lately because i've just been using a standard mop and bucket that you spin but when you want to do touch-ups and not have to pull out your whole entire mop, it's nice to be able to have something like this that you can just put onto something really quick, run over your floor, and be done with it. And I thought, well, you know, if they're going to sell these, why don't they ever sell the little mop piece that goes with it? Well, now they do. And just to let you know, what you do is you buy this little piece here. And this is just the handle, you know, like a broom handle. It's even got a little thing where you could hang it up. You can see that. But the end just screws right here. So you buy this. And then they have an assortment of different cleaning products that you can screw onto this. They have two different mop heads. One is your traditional um, like rag mop or yarn mop or whatever you call those. And then the other one is a microfiber uh, mop head. And then they have a duster that you can put on the end of this, a push broom, a regular broom head, and then they have this. And this is what I need to be able to use these. <laughs> so being that I've already got a broom and I don't really dust mop my floors, I always just vacuum over them or sweep them. Um, I didn't really need any of the other stuff. Um, but it's just nice to have because that way if you, um, you know, you do want to, um, you do need to have some cleaning supplies and you don't want to spend a lot of money you know you could just grab one of these poles and get you four or five items and then you know there you go you can just swap them out but anyway so this has got the little pieces here once you put the cloth on the bottom you just wrap it around the top and you push them down into these little holes here and it keeps the cloth on there for you it also has one of these little um it almost feels like a foam and then it's got velcro here so it does help for the little pads to stay on the bottom of them and then once you screw this piece on it also swivels um, and moves back and forth so that you can um, you know maneuver it around so i was really happy that they picked these or that they started selling these so now i can use these and like i said it's just nice so the in between moppings if you have um, you know, somebody spills something on the floor and you want to go over it with something or you just want to do a quick mop, you got company coming over, whatever. These are just really nice to have on hand. So I did get those and then um, I did get one more item. I'm sorry. I did pick up some parchment paper. Um, I've gotten to where I've been cooking with this quite a bit here lately. I usually use my stones um, that I, or my stoneware. I've got round pizza stones and things like that. They're not supposed to stick, and most of the time they don't, but sometimes it, it does get a little hard to get, you know, biscuits and things like that off of them. But the other morning, I made some frozen biscuits, Pillsbury biscuits. I put them on parchment paper and then put it on my baking sheet. And one, they just lifted right off. I mean, it was not a problem whatsoever. I didn't have to worry about trying to scrape it off at all. But the bottoms of those biscuits were really crispy, but they weren't burnt. So I really like the taste. I think my biscuits just turned out a lot better using the parchment paper and my standard uh, metal cookie sheet versus my stones. So um, I did want to go ahead and pick up some more parchment paper because I think I am going to start cooking more on this with my um, cookie sheet um, versus, you know, like I said, my stoneware. So that is all that I have got for today. 
So I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. I hope you all have a happy new year and I will see you in my next video. Bye.